Like all glands, mammary glands are derived from epithelial tissue and are exocrine glands. They release their products through tubes or ducts and their products leave the body. Structurally, mammary glands are complex. There are simple exocrine glands, but mammary glands, because of the branching of their ducts, are classified as compound alveolar ducts, and the cells which produce milk are in these uh, circular clusters known as alveoli. Mammary glands are modified sweat glands, which develop in embryos along an embryonic mammary ridge, which stretches from the armpit region to the thigh. These are the only cells of the embryo which will be capable of producing mammary glands. But various species then isolate the mammary tissue to specific regions. So for example, the position of mammary glands in cats is different from that of ruminants like cows and bison, which is different from that of primates where there are two mammary glands in the chest region. In humans, occasionally additional breast tissue and additional nipples may form from additional sites along this mammary ridge. In humans, by embryonic week 10 to 12, an epithelial bud has branched into the connective tissue mesenchyme, which itself is then branching into a mammary fat pad on the remaining mammary placodes, those regions of the mammary line uh, which will form mammary glands in that specific species. At first, solid cords of epithelia are formed, and this process is hormone independent, not relying on estrogen or prolactin, and utilizes a number of embryonic signaling pathways, like fibroblast growth factor 10, Wnt, and tumor necrosis factor alpha. By 32 weeks, programmed cell death by the epithelial cells that are in the internal regions of these cords, the programmed cell death causes these cells to be lost, creating hollow tubes which exist by embryonic week 32. By birth, a primitive ductal tree is formed with about 20 lactiferous ducts emptying into a central nipple, and this condition exists in both males and females. The nipple region is at first depressed to form a dimple, but after birth this projects outwards, and there is a bit of regression in breast tissue over the early weeks after birth as the influence of the hormones received through the placenta from the mother as her breast tissue developed uh, as their influence wanes although this may actually activate the mammary uh, glands to a degree in both males and females as a watery secretion may be excreted for several weeks.